Like, uh, that was safe. That was safe. Damn, he messed up. Cool that. This boost. What's up? What's up, my G? Like, duh, this you, but nigga, this you. You write me from your page. You did a song with six nine, bro. Yeah, and you see it, ain't it? Oh, 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 he on that shit. Kodak Black is on that shit hard, y'all. Damn. What, what you think? I shouldn't did that. Hey, damn, you just on the internet, like, oh yeah, oh you holler at a nigga, bro. Oh, oh, what up, boost it like this, man? Yeah, this is team music. Like, I really feel like you failed me as a hero. And if you were, if you was on some real OG timing, you never supposed to look down on a nigga who like looked up to you. A lot of people at first judged you they heard that you know what you actually said on the song a lot of people went back on your side i understand the value of a dollar i mean fucking all the road to do a song with a nigga who like i don't even know the niggas he told on damn he is out of his mind and i ain't even from over there nigga that's y'all right i know only nigga squeeze this nigga out some cheese homie Yo, yo, Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is Rooted in Music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all of the social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Kodak Black. Yak, South Florida's, uh, Miami's finest, uh, got caught with that cocaine, got caught with cocaine, and this nigga was riding around, looked like that area that he got caught, like, a, I don't know if that's his old hood, I'm not a huge Kodak Black fan, but that area was raggedy, he's rolling around in a $300,000 car with some cocaine, why you there, Yak, I don't know, but go ahead, I'm gonna play this video for y'all. I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. The piling up for Kodak Black, the star rapper who was just arrested here in South Florida again. A local dentist, Christian Della Rosa, live now in Plantation Ooh. with this latest run in. Christian. Calvin, it was a. The key word again. Around 2 o'clock in the morning today, police say they found the rapper behind the wheel of a black Bentley and he was passed out. This is where he was found here. This is the 600 block of Northwest 47th Avenue implantation. And take a look at his newest mugshot. Officers say when they opened the door to the vehicle. I told y'all he was on that stuff when he was on Drink Champs. When he was on Drink Champs, man, he looked, he was like, yeah, talking about 21 Savage. He was saying, you know, whatever, get a slot again, snap again. Like, dog, he, it's obvious he's out of it. Like he aging bad, too. They also smelled pot and they smelled alcohol. And when they got him to come out of the SUV, the arrest report says they also noticed a white powder coming from his mouth. Police say the substance Damn. tested positive for cocaine. And they add he had around 4.1 grams of it in a baggie. Back out here live, Kodak, who is... Why you say it like that in that bag, man? That baggie. It was all bagged up. 26 years old and whose real name is Bill Capri uh, is, of course, facing several charges. One for possession uh, of cocaine, another one for tampering with evidence and also for violating a federal probation. You may remember he was arrested on July of last year for trafficking and possession of oxycodone. We do expect Kodak to be in court for his first appearance as early as this afternoon. As soon as that happens, we'll report back. We're live in Plantation. I'm Damn. Christian De La Rosa, local 10 years. Okay, Christian. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. I don't know what's going on with Kodak Black, but I know damn well he was messed up in that Drink Champs interview. I'm surprised no Yeager and in the, uh, the co-host then pull this nigga to the side like, hey man, you, you all right, bro? He said, yeah, it's slot again, sniper again, slot again. He's talking about him and uh, 21 Savage, sniper again, not, not, but like that, man. It's, it's eyes 
rolling in the back of his head. They said when they found a the nigga in the black uh, belly, he had cocaine coming out his mouth like he's foaming out the mouth. It was cocaine out the mouth. Oh, man. He looked toe up. He lost the weight. I know it's the weight, but I thought he was just getting in shape. He getting in shape, all right? Getting in shape with that cocaine. God damn. And like I said, I it, I started to see with that uh that Jink Tramps interview. I was like, oh yeah, he, he's about to go downhill. You can tell he looks look he looks look ashy. I don't know, he doesn't look like himself. He looked like the Kodak Black first came out, you know, glistening, like upbeat. He just looked like he was just slurring his words the whole time. I didn't know if he was like, well, on Drink Champs, they do get loaded. So to be fair, it's a show where they smoke weed and drink hard liquor. So to be fair, you know, but I ain't never seen nobody mess up like that. I seen Chris Brown on there. I seen Crazy Bone. They had tons of big names out there, people that smoke and drink. I ain't never seen them. Even Chris Brown looked faded. He was like, this eyes were tight like this. But Kodak Black, that was a different type of faded. That was like, uh, that, that wasn't faded. That nigga was messed up. He on that shit. See, there's faded. See, there's tipsy, buzz. Uh, tipsy, buzz, faded, and then the top level, oh, he on that shit. He on that shit. Kodak Black is on that shit. But y'all love my comments. I'm dying to know what y'all know, what y'all think about Kodak Black getting caught with four grams of cocaine and riding around in the Bentley in the hood. 250, capital G, rooted in music TV. I'm gone.